we have owned the intellectual property of High Fidelity Decoy and high technology from design, production, and detection. Our decoys can imitate the main fighting action of real equipment, can be towed, can imitate the real equipment status after fired by the enemy, can even be used after being shot. Six to eight persons can accomplish setting up within 60 minutes. It has long lifespan. Operational life is more than 10 years. Storage life is more than 15 years. Without special maintenance, it can withstand wind load 20.7 meters per second after setup. All kinds of decoys can be dismantled and packaged into standard containers for easy transportation. After setup, strictly made by one-to-one -one proportion with the real equipment. Extremely similar with the real equipment. Cannot be distinguished real or false by 30 meters away. Designed with the concept of transformers, each component is less than 50 kilograms, assemble only by manpower. The similarity is more than 95% of real equipment in visible light and near infrared spectral ranges. The outline similarity of thermal image is more than 90% of real equipment. Radar reflectivity is more than 98% of real equipment. The decoy series also includes missile launcher series, tank and armored vehicle series, helicopter series, fixed wing aircraft series, Churchill is still just as cagey about landings, but this time he has a trump card. His secret services have assembled a phantom army. Codename, Operation Fortitude. To misdirect German reconnaissance units, thousands of inflatable vehicles of all types are deployed near Dover to make it look like a landing in the Pas de Calais. Full decoy divisions, made out of rubber, are placed in the fields. Hitler had leaked false intelligence to the Allied nations about his military might in the 1930s. Well, he's going to get a taste of his own medicine. Churchill can't be sure the illusion will work. But he has a joker on the opposing side. Adolf Hitler himself.